Hi everyone, Joe for jazbeescasebreaks.com coming at you with a one box break of 2020 Leaf autographed baseball. There it is right there. I think they threw in Joe Montana in here for some reason. So if there's a non-baseball player autograph, it'll go we'll just re-randomize it to someone in uh, to someone in the break. Um, what else? Do you have any other disclaimers here? I guess since we're giving away that Sterling spot um, no, we'll just do two different dice rolls, but original 15 names. Just want to do that. Also, our uh, non-pro uniform rules apply, right? There's no checklist for this that attaches them to a team. So if it's an active player, it'll go to the team they're currently on, right? If it's an inactive player, or they're reti a retired player to be more specific, it'll go to the team they played for the longest by season according to BaseballReference.com. If there's a tie, we'll use games as a tiebreaker. Okay, so... As always, we're going to do the break itself first. Let's double up those names and assign you a team. Let's roll it and randomize it. Two and a four, six times for each list. One, two, three, four, five, and six. Six and final time. Jeremy down to Jesse. Six times for the teams. And sixth and final time. After six, we've got the New York Metropolitans down to the St. Louis Redbirds. No trades, right? No one's trading. I think people just want to see who wants to cut ahead to the uh, Sterling spot, which is a $450 spot. There's the first half of the list. There's the second half of the list. Let's just let's just print and rip. Oh, this is interesting. We'll need baseballreference.com, folks. Now, this player, and I, you, you may know, I've said this before, I'll say it again. We've pulled this player before, but I always think of him as the team that he was first on. But he played for the team, the second team that he played for, he played for uh, two more seasons in the first team. So that's the team it's going to go for. But I always associate it with the first team. Other people may associate with the second team. I don't know. Um... Right-handed batter, and I throw right. 72 years young. Hall of Famer, a Rookie of the Year, 11-time All-Star, a Gold Glover, a three-time Silver Slugger. In fact, I was a Rookie of the Year, was a top 10 in uh, at 29 and 30 years old, and then top 5 when I was 35 years old. Yep, there you go. Rich, Malcolm, Riffer, he got it. Spent 11 years with the Boston Red Sox, but then 13 seasons with the Chicago White Sox. It's catcher Carlton Fisk. He's pretty good. There it is right here. We got the Beckett Authenticity card right here. There should be a sticker on the back right there. There we go. Sometimes they have a MLB hologram sticker too, but not this time. The Beckett's good enough though. There you go. Carlton Fisk. Excellent catcher. What did Carlton Fisk do in his post-playing days? I don't really remember. Jeremy Port with the White Sox. There you go, Jeremy. Did he do announcing? I'm not sure what he does now. Let's flip back to this list right here. We got Jeremy with the Diamondbacks down to Jeremy and the Nationals. Oh, no, I'm using the original 15. That's why I already set this up right here. All right, there you go. Let's roll it. Let's randomize it. Name on top after nine gets into the Sterling break, which is happening after this. Five and a four, nine times. One, two. Three, four, five, six, seven, eight. And good luck. Ninth and final time after nine, it's Jeremy Port. There you go, Jeremy. Congrats to you. After nine times, you're in that tops Sterling break. You're guaranteed a random hit. So there you go. Thanks for watching, everybody. I'll see you next time on jazbeescasebreaks.com.